So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my other video. And today very special guest with us, she is from Bangladesh and she completed her uh, bachelor and master's in pharmacy from Bangladesh. And she was working as a lecturer in Bangladesh. And after that, she just uh, came to Australia. She is doing a master's in biotechnology, but basically this is a medical biotechnology technology course. It's not a normal biotechnology. So we will know about this course and for your journey, why she joined this course and what is the fee and is there any scholarship um, for, for this course and what the scope for this course getting a job in Australia or we are also uh, learn about the opportunity to getting a PR or uh, and I've also give my some uh, advice to you at the end of this video about this course. So please uh, uh, like and subscribe my video so I can make a review for you. So uh, welcome Faria and can you please give us your uh, brief introduction? Yes, thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I'm very much fortunate uh, this day to be for, with you. And um, basically, <clears throat> I'm from Bangladesh and um, I have um, completed my um, higher secondary as well as um, also the school secondary school certificate from one of the district, which is remote from, uh, from the center of the country. And after uh, completing my higher secondary examination, uh, I admitted or uh, I got admission into the <clears throat> pharmacy uh, program at University of Dhaka. And um, before that, actually, in my country, uh, to get admission, uh, you have to pass the admission exam. Okay, so uh, I would say I'm very much fortunate to get the opportunity to one of the top university in pharmacy education. So, uh, in and uh, in case of my country, um, basically, I have. Uh, done a five years pharmacy course, which is a bachelor of pharmacy, okay? And uh, in the last year, basically the course is much more oriented with the um, uh, practical works as well as with the um, practical experience, like the industrial experience, as well as the hospital uh, experience, okay? And uh, after completing my bachelor of pharmacy, I, um, I started my career as a um, product executive in a pharma marketing, uh, under the under one of the great uh, or one of the top pharmaceutical company of my country and besides uh, i was also continuing my uh, m farm okay uh, and i i started my m farm in pharmaceutical marketing uh, sorry uh, pharmaceutical chemistry and basically i pick up the uh, this is based pharmacy uh, m farm that's why i have to um, put a lot of time into uh, research lab or laboratory works and uh, that's why uh, after about one year when my exam was about to close uh, that time i left the job and i get uh, full uh, i get full time to engage myself into the laboratory works okay and after completing uh, when I was in the laboratory, I get myself more interested or I found myself more interested towards the laboratory or the research work rather than any other type of pharmacy activities. That's why actually after completing my uh, M farm, uh, I choose uh, those type of uh, career which will actually allow me to get involved myself into the research activities. That's why uh, I was searching for um, the lecturer or something in this type of position and and uh, I got, um, I started uh, about 2019, I started my career as a lecturer of pharmacy at a university. And uh, after that, uh, working there as a lecturer of pharmacy, now I am here to, for, uh, to start my um, higher studies as well. And you know, uh, when <clears throat> someone is in the research sector or in the academia, they must have the PhD degree to, um, uh, to get the promotion. And that is yeah. one of the reason I'm here. Okay, that's very uh, good. You know, your journey is very, uh, very inspiring, basically. So I, you know, uh, my perception was earlier, you know, uh, because I don't know much about pharmacy education in Bangladesh. So I thought there is a B form is four year, then two year is master, then PhD. So now you told me that this is a five year program, Bachelor yeah, of Pharmacy. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. Can, you, Some can, of you, my... can you tell me that uh, what are the pharmacy courses available in Bangladesh? What are the requirement to register as pharmacist, minimum qualifications to register as pharmacist in Bangladesh? 
Okay, uh, basically not all the universities uh, offer five-year pharmacy courses. Uh, some of the university mm -hmm. offer these courses because uh, this type of courses are much more, um, as I said, much more uh, practical uh, work related or practical experience related. And as well as uh, most of uh, our uh, country's student, uh, pharmacy student, when they um, complete their graduation, they want to do their PhD or they want to develop their career into the in USA or UK and you know USA is requiring five years pharmacy course yeah, for, yeah, uh, yes 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 that it is, is a... one of the main reason okay uh, to introduce five year pharmacy course which is uh, actually they are trying to do it equivalent as a farm d but they um, they are still didn't get the um, approval okay oh, so no i mean what is the minimum qualification to register as pharmacist in in uh, Bangladesh, because in India, there's a two year diploma course, four year B form, and six year form D. So, all these three degrees are they can register as pharmacists. So, what is the Okay, basically, in, in my country, there are three category pharmacists A category, B category, and C category. In case of A category pharmacists, um, anyone who have passed the um, bachelor of pharmacy examination that means four years pharmacy examination they got the um, they got the registration through the pharmacy council of bangladesh in an automatic way okay? okay but for b and c grade pharmacists they have to pass an examination and basically b and c grade pharmacists are get the, uh, get the opportunity to work in a pharmacy like in the model pharmacy to assist a grade pharmacist this type of activities are oriented and, and who are basically the diploma pharmacists who are uh, B grade and C grade pharmacists. And so um, oh, at yeah, the same I, time. Yes, I understand mm -hmm. that if you are bachelor degree, then you can be a, a category A. There is a. no need for you to write the exam. But if you no, are no. a diploma in pharmacy, then you have to be a B and C category and you have exactly. to write the exam. So same exam now government of india going to introduce in 2021 onwards for diploma holders oh, so okay. this is very good uh, so um ours is uh, we are not going to much about this but because our is uh, more about uh, uh, why you choose the master of biotechnology in australia there was some several other courses you know so what is the advantage to choose this course Actually, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm very much oriented towards the research activities rather than just the coursework or uh, theoretical uh, knowledge type of. And uh, when I was searching for my higher studies, I found that a Master of Medical Biotechnology is a type of course which is um, which is offering to uh, convert into the MPhil program just after completing the one year. And in case of MPhil program, uh, uh, there will be full time um, research, uh, about one year research uh, experience you can gather. And um, I think this um, research experience will uh, facilitate my path to get the to get myself into the into a PhD program as well. Yes. So many students, you know. Um, when they are coming for master degree or MPhil, or you know, so MPhil, I always say you must go for MPhil if you want to do a PhD. I know many, some of the students, you know, they were with me in my same lab. So they entered in first year in MPhil and second year onwards, they converted into MPhil into the PhD, you know. So they completed about four years. So she's doing master of biotechnology, medical biotechnology. And after she's planning that after first year, she can convert into MPhil and then MPhil can lead to a PhD. So she, PhD, can, exactly. she can get the scholarship. That's why she chose uh, uh, this program. So exactly. what about, uh, is what is the fee for this program? Uh, prerequisite for this program was not actually uh, too much higher and uh, like uh, for any pharmacist uh, they have already completed uh, some prerequisites or uh, all of the prerequisites not some prerequisites like, like they have to complete um, uh, physiology as well as chemistry medicinal chemistry and uh, then uh, they have to complete some um, bi microbiology and microscopy types of subject. So uh, we pharmacists already complete this type of subject uh, and uh, at the first year or second year, okay? So I think uh, to get um, enroll into a master of medical biotechnology for a pharmacist, it is much more easier than any type of uh, other students because uh, this subject is mostly uh, related with the um, 
uh, human biology or physiology type of subject, which we have already completed in different uh, stages of our so, pharmacy education. So you mean they give you some wa uh, waiver, sub some subject because you already study in your uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. I have already waived with some of the subjects, and maybe I will get uh, also waive and or and also I will apply for the waiver because um, these subjects are for second or third semester as well. So this is very good, you know, when you are uh, coming to Australia. So if you are getting, for example, Master of Nursing, the same thing also applicable for there because you anatomy, physiology, uh, pharmacology, or uh, microbiology, uh, you know, th those kinds of subjects you already study. So some of the university, they give the waiver. So if you are taking it less, you know, the courses, so your fee automatically will be reduced. For example, you are paying might be the 15,000 or 20,000. 20,000 if you are paying, for example, now, now might be, you need to pay like 18,000 or 17,000. So yeah, in your, in your case, um, but, but what is the normal fee for this course, like 20,000 per uh, year or 16,000? To be very frank, actually, I don't know what is the actual uh, cost because okay. I got uh, postgraduate research, uh, postgraduate academic excellence scholarship. That's why uh, my tuition fees are much more less than the others. Okay, and uh, I have to um, basically um, for those who are uh, getting this type of scholarship or like uh, vice chancellor scholarship, they have to uh, pay about um, uh, uh, $12,000 per semester or uh, $12,000, sorry, $12,000 per year, okay? Okay, so can you like, uh, so what, what is the requirement to apply for this scholarship? So when you are applying for your the admission, at that time you can apply for this scholarship or is there any other? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, there will be, uh, there are some ways that, um, there are some, uh, firstly, there are some uh, deadline to apply for the scholarship, as well as when someone is um, applying for the Master of Medical Biotechnology, then that time uh, throughout the application, they will uh, get an option that uh, would you like to have any type of scholarship and which type of scholarship basically you, uh, you like to apply. And these type of options are available. And uh, by going through all the uh, options, uh, I, uh, I came to know that which type of scholarship is um, beneficial or scholarship will be applicable for me. So all the informations are available there and um, you have to apply in a separate application that uh, I also need to apply for uh, postgraduate research ex uh, academic experience scholarship or uh, vice chancellor's uh, scholarship. This type of application will be separate from the whole uh, application process as well. Okay, and so there are some waiver. I think there are some there are some waiver for Asian students as well. But uh, I didn't get that waiver because I have already uh, got another scholarship. So you know when you are applying for Master of Biotechnology, after that you can apply for some scholarship. So a scholarship might be based on your previous experience or your education, as well as academic um, academic uh, result uh, also yes, yes, an yes. important factor this uh, in this case as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, uh, uh, what is the job uh, uh, prospect? after completing this course in Australia. So do you, have you got some time to get any of your senior or something? Yeah, actually I explored this um, area, um, not a lot, but a bit. Uh, I found that uh, after completing uh, MPhil or masters, students get the opportunity to work in different laboratory, like uh, in case of um, hospitals laboratory to work as a researcher and also in different pharmaceutical company uh, in case of R&D sector, and also in uh, different type of um, chemical uh, companies uh, and also um, in different universities research area, some students can get involved into the uh, research sector uh, as well. Yeah, this is like a uh, yeah, basic medical science, we can say. So after you completing this course, uh, after the, you, you can get a lot of jobs is here, even in the hospitals you know, uh, to work as a research assistant, research associate, research fellow, you know, those kind of jobs. And also you can go for a pharmaceutical industry or biotechnology industries, you know. Um, yeah, so, exactly. Okay, so what is the, uh, is there any um, ways to get PR, this course in the PR list, this occupation list, you know, uh, uh, yeah. 
um basically uh in case of medical biotechnology uh, this is not directly involved into the pr list but <clears throat> if i get the uh, job then it will facilitate me to get the pr okay but uh, i am targeting to do my phd after uh, after completing this course i am trying to do get enroll into my phd program i think that will facilitate my um, pr process uh, much more easier than this way Uh, and actually uh, choosing this um, subject is to get uh, research experience in case of or um, in in context of pharma uh, sorry in context of australian area or australian research area so you know basically when she joined this course so she was basically lecturer in bangladesh she has some publications her interest basically to go through research that's why she joined this course and she want to go further for ample and phd you know and she's trying to get pr through the phd you know like me i got phd and then and then i got my pr so but if you are planning that after you are coming for to for this course so this course not in the pr list so you cannot dot directly so you have only two option either you have to go for further study for phd or maybe you could get some job and company can sponsor you either or you yeah. have to write your caps exam again caps pharmacy exam and that way also you can get pr you know so this is not this is like same course i can say like master of public health that is also not in the pr list so this course also not in the pr list you know but in this course there is a more chance to get a scholarship as compared to master of public health so for you at the end um, what is the advice to the student they are listening us and uh, watching us uh, um, do you suggest that they are, this course is very good uh, they can go for this or you want uh, to you think that yeah. some some other good courses is there and you uh, you don't know earlier now you know uh, those courses like master of uh, no, actually, pharmacy yeah, yeah. Uh, actually um, i i don't think uh, because um, when i am in australia i, I just came Uh, in the last month uh, of this year so <clears throat> when i came here uh, i get to know that uh, this uh, and when i started my um classes i found or as well as the lab activities i found that this uh, subject is that is master of medical biotechnology is much more oriented with the uh, laboratory work or the research activities and i'm finding uh, much more uh, interested to do this type of activities so i would like to um, uh, encourage all those students who would like to come to uh, australia and are dedicated to perform their um uh, are dedicated to perform their uh, or to engage their time into the research activities they must uh, enroll into this type of subject because this will facilitate to go to uh, mphil program as well as it will also facilitate to go admission into the phd so this actually the much more path uh, um, much more easier path rather than getting the direct phd program um, and direct get uh, involved into the phd program and because uh, in case of phd uh, we have to uh, we like to have full funding and uh, actually in this condition or sometimes uh, in case of our asian people it is not uh, so much easier to get direct the full funding for the phd program so i think this uh, this path um, could be an easier for those like me actually <laughs> <laughs> yes you know so if you are research oriented you want to go for the study in phd definitely you can join this course but if you are looking just you can complete this course in 100% you are thinking that it, this course can give you a pr so this is not for you so you can go for master of nursing or master of pharmacy those two courses have a more chance to get pr uh, as compared to this but this course more oriented if you are looking to work in the lab or some research side and you want to go further study in phd so in that uh, way this is a good course for you um, if you have any questions so please leave a comment below i will also try to reply and uh, for you also will watch this video she will also reply if you have any questions and she is basically working as a you know, one of the pharmacy also so we will also discuss in our next video about her experience of working as a, a pharmacy technician or pharmacy assistant and how she got the job this and that we will see you in another video and um, thank you for this video thank you for you thank you thank you